case of Officer Jason Van Dyke is now before the court where he stands charged with first degree murder. I feel strongly as mayor of the city of Chicago that we face our own questions and our own judgment. The horrifying shooting of uh, Mr. McDonald requires more than words of sadness. It requires that we act, that we take more concrete steps to prevent such abuses in the future, secure the safety and the rights of all Chicagoans, and build stronger bonds of trust between our police department, the men and women that make up that department, and the communities they're sworn to serve and protect. While I don't believe the actions of Officer Van Dyke reflect the vast majority of the men and women who risk their lives every day to protect our lives, I also know that the use of excessive force and misuse of authority is not new in Chicago or isolated only to Chicago. There is a history of it. We have worked hard to address these concerns over the last past four and a half years through intensive training, new policies governing the use of force. But for whatever progress we have made, the killing of Laquan McDonald is a vivid reminder that we have much more work to do as a city. There are, two key, there are two key questions before us. First, was this specific investigation handled properly? And I want to be clear that that question is being investigated by the United States Department of Justice in the U.S. Attorney's Office. And as you know, the city has handed every piece of evidence over to the U.S. Attorney's Office here in Chicago and the FBI within weeks of the incident. This includes evidence related to the shooting itself, but also evidence related to the police department's response. They will address these questions when their investigation is complete. And I hope you would uh, await the conclusion of their inquiry, which I also am anxious for. The second question is how we prevent this type of incident from happening again. How do we ensure that we are effectively policing the police? That is why today I'm announcing that I've asked five respected Chicagoans who are leaders in the criminal justice system to do a top to bottom review of the system of oversight and accountability, training and transparency that is currently in place for Chicago's police officers. These five leaders have extensive experience, experience investigating police misconduct or representing victims of police misconduct. They include Sergio Acosta, Inspector General Joe Ferguson, Lori Lightfoot, Ty Grau, and Randall Stone. They will actively engage community leaders, victims' rights, law enforcement, youth, religious, and elected leaders to ensure the recommendations are based on the input from all parts of the city and all perspectives as it relates to criminal justice and the police department, public safety. In addition, Chicago native and former Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick, who has led the United States Department of Civil Rights Division, United States Department of Justice and Civil Rights Division under President Clinton, has agreed to serve as a senior advisor to the task force. These six Chicagoans know, like I know, that the vast majority of our officers are committed to the communities they serve. But they also know, as I do, that any case of excessive force or abuse of authority undermines the entire force and the trust we must build with every community in the city. Police officers are only as effective as if they are trusted by all Chicagoans, whoever they are and wherever they live in the city. By reinvigorating our oversight, we will continue to take the necessary steps to build trust between the police and the residents and communities they serve. In order to bring the level of safety to our streets that every Chicagoan deserves, people must have confidence in our entire system. They must have trust in the system that's in place. That's why the task force will look at how the city handles excessive force cases, how we can develop an early warning system to help us intervene with problem officers, and how to improve transparency in these cases without compromising ongoing investigations. Every day we work, to earn their trust, to earn the public's trust, we will redouble our work in pursuit of that goal. Every day we must ensure that the checks and balances are in place to keep the confidence of Chicago 
in their public safety and in the people that are entrusted with that responsibility. That trust must be earned by everyone from the police officer on the beat to the highest ranking officials in our government. Superintendent Gary McCarthy has been an excellent leader of our police department over the past four and a half years. His community policing strategy has led to the lowest overall crime rate on record and his efforts to remove guns from the street have yielded significant progress. But Superintendent McCarthy knows that a police officer is only as effective as when he has the trust of those he serves. After this weekend, after effectively handling both the protests that followed the release of the McDonald video last week and the arrest of Tashawn's killer, Superintendent McCarthy and I began a discussion on Sunday about the direction of the department and the undeniable fact that the public trust and the leadership of the department has been shaken and eroded. This morning, I formally asked for his resignation. The superintendent Gary's record at the Chicago Police Department is a strong one and one that he can be proud of. I'm grateful for his service to the city. He has both modernized the police department and brought real results to the people of the city of Chicago. But now is the time for fresh eyes and new leadership to confront the challenges the department and our community and our city are facing as we go forward. I've asked First Deputy John Escalante to serve as acting commissioner until the police board has conducted a thorough search. From body cameras to today's task force to the new superintendent, this is not the end of the problem, but it is the beginning of the solution to the problem. There are systematic challenges that will require sustained reforms. It is a work in progress as we continue to build the confidence and the trust by the public in our police force. Everyone has a role to play. And I'm just as responsible and as accountable as everyone else in working towards that solution. I do not take that responsibility lightly and will work to ensure that every day we ensure we realize a strong Chicago we all want and the public deserves. 